Okay, now, um, if I was going to continue rewriting this, and like if it was the whole paragraph, I would look at the next chunk and I would, I would revise it as well. But what I did today is I just looked at one chunk and I showed you how to revise and to change what the problems were. Um, what I want you to do, actually, is to get out your first day packet and um, you are going to look at the page where you wrote your paragraph. And you have your topic sentence, you'll have your CD, CM, CM, whatever order, you'll have it all written. And some of yours was kind of a mess, which is okay. Okay, but I want you to read it. And I want you to mark these kind of marks when you see problems. Okay, you need to check for all the problems we just checked for in this paragraph. We checked for context and introduction. Did it flow? We checked for the wording problems. We checked, did you have the document, did you have it documented correctly? We checked to see if there was repeated words or ideas. We checked for, is, is the commentary really, really explaining well what the trait word is? So I want you to go and read your page, I guess this is page four, one, two, three, four. And I want you to revise. I want you to revise. And um, after you revise all the wording and you've checked all those um, um, uh, problem areas in the wording of your document, then I want you to flip the page over. This is the page right where you've had, you know, where you've had this. It's a check, double check. And I want you to go down and do each of these steps. So you will go through them. Number one, you will read and listen for repeated words in the sentences. And I think you've already done that, right? Because you just did it in the um, last document. So let's, you'll sign JR or your initials there. Then it says to bracket all sentence beginnings and words. Now you've not done that. So on this page, let's pretend that this is my page with my handwriting. I will bracket all the sentence beginnings. So the mother, da 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 da. Here's another sentence beginning. For example, she takes my hand, da 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 da. And all that, that connects to this one. That period's not there. Then it's she. Then it's yet. Then it's when. Then it is, this is um, part of the dialogue, so we're not going to bracket that. Don't bracket dialogue words. Here's my next sentence beginning. Um, and then here's my last one. Now I can see that I did not have any repeated words as sentence beginnings, none that touched each other. Um, but if you do, I'd like you to revise those. And once you do that, you will sign off. Then you are going to circle Awubis words. So I'm going to look here for my Awubis words. Now, if you don't remember your Awubis words, look in your binder under the grammar section and to know your Awubis words. So I'm going to read through here. Here's an Awubis word. I'm going to circle it. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for Awubis words, and I will circle all of them. Now, if an Awubis word is in the text, ignore those. Here's one right here, because, because, because. Um, okay, I think that's all my Awubis words. So then what I have to do is, oh, this Awubis word starts a dependent clause at the end of this independent clause, so no comma needed. I did that well. Oh, this one's at the beginning. I need a comma. Oh, this one's at the beginning. I need a comma, and this one I need it at the beginning. All three of these, it's like a list of independent or dependent clauses. They all need that comma, especially this one right here. And then we have the independent clause that happens. So after I look for my Awubis words and I've made corrections, if it's at the beginning, need, needs a comma. If it's in the middle, needs commas. If it's at the end, no comma. Okay, now I'm going to look for fanboys. Fanboys, if you don't know what fanboys are, they're in your uh, binder as well under the grammar section. Okay, I'm looking for for and and all, and all of those. Let's see here. Here's one. I'm gonna do it in a different color just so it stands out a little bit. And. Um, let's see here, yet. There's four, but in this case, I think it's, uh, I think it's being used as a preposition. Okay, I don't think we have any others. Now, this is really the only one 
that could possibly have an independent clause, a subject and verb on this side, and a subject and verb on this side. So she knows, there's my subject, knows is my predicate, that this momentous day needs special care. That's a complete sentence. Now, fanboy, her guidance and protection are signs of her love. That also is a complete sentence. So this comma right there underneath the mark there was needed, it's needed there. If this was a fragment on this side, you wouldn't have put the, the um, comma there. Okay, so you have to have two complete sentences to put a comma in front of the fanboy. Okay, so now I've done that one. And then it says, check all words for correct capitalization. And so I would go through and make sure I've correctly um, capitalized everything. Now, when I'm done with that, here's what I want you to do. I want you to type it. And on the board, I have um, put an example of what your typed paper will look like. And you need to follow directions for the heading, for the spacing, for the font, for the size of the font, and for um, everything in it. And that's going to be your final draft. And you will need to look over it very, very carefully before you print. And then you have to get it printed before tomorrow because you will turn in your final draft on top, the check, double check, signature sheet, sheet below, which is this sheet. And then below that will be your first day packet. Okay, and you will turn all of that in tomorrow.